everyone, it's Lorinda. I'm just here to show you my completed Shabby Elegance mini album. It's made using the same kit that I put together for my giveaway back in February that Susie from Silly Shy Sushi won. And she's actually put her kit together and she has a um, video of her album. It turned out really, really pretty. And um, here's mine. So, I called it Shabby Elegance because the papers are elegant, um, in my opinion. They are handmade papers that I bought from Costco about two or three years ago. And they're all flocked. And like I said, very, very pretty. And I wanted to add uh, some sense of shabbiness to it. Hence all these fibers on the binding. And then I added um, a swivel clasp and um, um, what's this fragment charm and this faceted bead on the side and then the cover I just used a tattered angels frame and I put some prima flowers around it with clear bling in the middle and these are just paper um, leaves that I make because I can't ever find the prima leaves so I've been making these leaves out of just paper and then this is the Tim Holtz I Dodge ticket that I distressed okay inside this is my black and white page and it's a frame physics die frame that I colored um, painted white and then I glued um, pearl um, strand around the page and here's a prima flower and white feathers next is a pocket page using just a um, cardstock that I punched using a Martha Stewart punch, edge, um, an edge, edge punch. And this is again a Martha Stewart um, doily punch. And then this is a burlap flower that I have a tutorial on. If you want to learn how to make that, check out my tutorial. And then this is a glass um, pebble that I wrote, believe on the underside of it and then they spread some Mod Podge on it and then sprayed some glitter on it. Um, Marie from Aloha and Mabuhai has a tutorial on how she makes hers. She actually uses stickles on hers which I'm sure which comes out the same way as using Mod Podge and glitter. So check out her tutorial on that and then just here I just have some tags. These are just um, craft cardstock that I cut and distressed using Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I just added some fibers on the top. Next is a pocket page uh, using um, the Cinema ribbon and then the Sizzix die cut and I cut it using um, cut it out of um, stiffened up burlap and then the tags are just distressed again with um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks and then on the back I just made some shabby um, journaling spots using my acrylic um, block and I put some rubber band around it and I used that for my stamp and I just used um, Colorbox Espresso ink and then I sprayed I mean I sprinkled the clear embossing ink and then I hit heat, heat set it and then there's my journaling spot Okay. And the next page is the ribbon glued on the top and bottom. And here's the flower um, applique. And it holds this um, folder from cut from craft cardstock again. And it's just held together by this paper clip. Okay, it just gets tucked in inside there. Next page is a pocket page using lace that again I stiffened up with Mod Podge and then I cut um, I die cut a flourish out of burlap and then I added some uh, flower appliques. The tags are just simple um, card, uh, craft cardstock that I um, uh, punched the corners using Martha Stewart corner punch. Next page is a um, chipboard die cut uh, again Sizzix and then I embossed it using script uh, script stamp and I used Versamark 
and clear embossing powder and I heat set it and the tags are the same way but using um, orange ink okay and then some fiber on the top and then I just put a ribbon on the bottom next another lace that I stiffened up you and this time I used sparkle Mod Podge I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there and then I use these sequin flowers that my sister-in-law sent me from the Philippines and sushi, uh, sushi she, she, she got the um, flowers too I sent it to her with the kit she actually has a video that she had she wanted to recreate these um, sequin flowers so if you want to make these she has a tutorial on how to make them they're very very cute and very simple to make okay and then again some tags from craft cardstock that are distressed and this page is a, a pocket page using a recycled orange bag from the farmers market and again I stiffened up with Mod Podge and just a simple tag distressed tag with fibers and then these flowers are made using this punch right here I actually showed these flowers on another on one of my videos and I have um, several requests to show how I make these so I'll probably do that um, in the next week or so and then these are again my paper leaves and there's some acetate butterfly right here can you see it? it's right there and then here's um, I just added a pom-pom um, ribbon on the bottom next I made a pocket using um, doilies, two doilies, one doily in the middle and then the second one I cut in half and put two halves on uh, the e either side of the doily and then I just put a prima flower here and some bling and this is the flower that I made that, and I also have a tutorial on how to make these if you want to learn how to make these flowers check out my tutorial and then here's more tags that are distressed and the last page is a um, I just cut two lengths of tool about maybe 10 inches each and then glued each one of them on either side of the of uh, the page and then I knotted them in the middle and it serves as a pocket okay it's knotted right here in the middle so it's a pocket for this right here and I just cut this using my oval scallop um, Sizzix die and this is a um, flower check out Roxy Roxy Car 11's tutorial on how to make the flowers she makes it a little differently than I do so maybe I'll just do a quick tutorial I'll just add this when I do my um, little itty bitty um, paper flowers okay so this just opens up like this and you can add photos or journaling in there and it just gets stuck back in there ah, like that and I just put some bling right here and that's it I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked it I certainly had a lot of fun making it and um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for my tutorials on the flowers okay have a great day everyone bye